All right, so Bounty, been around for a long time, been around since the beginning. You know, and speaking of beginnings, is this um, a resurgence, maybe a renaissance for y'all? Huh? No. I, I mean, you know, we're trying, to, we're trying to get up there. We're trying to make the moves that we need to make. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say that our last couple of matches, uh, very close, mm -hmm. very competitive. Mm -hmm. um, we keep adding pieces to the, to the puzzle. I think we're going to be very, very competitive. Uh, we've, we've had a couple of age, uh, couple of bowlers that haven't been available for medical reasons mm -hmm. that sat out the season. Mm -hmm. um, I think when they come back next year, we'll be that much more competitive. The teams that snuck by won't get us next year. Lights out, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, lights out. Let's get into some action right now. Let's take a look at the scratch pair right now. <laughs> Starting off. Craig got, Bowden. Yes. Bowden. Let's the see the beast. Let's see if the pin's going to bow down for Mr. Bowden. As, as, he, as he waits for mailman to finish <laughs> business. <laughs> Let's see if um, he's a beast, not only on his jersey. Let's see if he's going to be a beast on the lanes as well. Oh! Well, if you want to call going uh, jersey, we are in New York, so we call it jerseys out here. We call it jersey everywhere. Then. I mean, I do because I'm from Brooklyn. That's right. And us from Brooklyn, we call Brooklyn's jerseys, if you know, uh, you know. But there's a jersey strike to start off for uh, Mr. Bowden, the beast. Hey, sometimes you got to cross the bridge, oh, pay the toll a little bit. <laughs> and for starting up. This is uh, Steve the Chouse, Dead Eye, not Walter Ray Dead Eye. This is Steve the Chouse in UBA, <laughs> and there's a, that's how you draw a strike. Dead flush, there just you how you like it. Yeah. You can get left I mean, right, right So we got good. strikes to the left, strikes to the right. And let's just see if the future is bright for everybody. Uh, they all looking to make a move right now. Uh, I was talking to Silent Killers earlier. They, they're looking to make a move as well. Everybody wants to move on up. Yeah. And there's a strike for Mr. DeChaus. Yes. I think you got practice. You just came around the street and started striking. That, that, that's what you like to see. Just come around the street and start striking. I know that's what I like to see. Let's Here's see if we're going to see Mr. Here. King James. And they're set in the pit. Oh, man, ten in the pit. And now hey. we have the legend, the Hall of Famer, Hermie Hannibal Herminator. That's, that's right. The current Vixens champ. Right see if she board. keeps it up. And this is what you want to see from the scratch team. Yeah, Both yeah. sides, six strikes. That's yeah. what you like to see. She, she made it look difficult, right? She never makes anything look difficult. She, it's, it's, <laughs> it, she makes everything look super easy. China, as they say. Yeah, but this house is not known for being the easiest house it's to, not. to shoot in. It's now, Bounty might be in a slight advantage because this is their home house. Mm -hmm. But SK bowls pretty much everywhere, so, so right I'm sure they have some members on their team that bowl here, and they're mm -hmm. probably in the lineup. Maybe one or two, or three, four, five. All right, here goes Crew in on the right lane, and there's another strike. There you go. Still perfect for seven shots here. Craig up on the left oh. lane, and that's a ringing 10 pin. He's oh, good jersey man. Often, I think. Yeah, man. Uh, ringing 10 pin right there. Let's see if he can answer the call yeah. of the ringer. 10 pin stands up for his rights. Let's see if it's not going to be left. I, wanna, it, um, I just want to say if every time you do a shot and shot as a bad pun, you will die, so don't do that. Oh, trust me. Oh, yeah. Get your bottles up. <laughs> make, sure, make, make sure you tap the cap first. And let's see if we can cap this frame off. Yep, oh. we're, gonna, we're gonna cap it off with a massaged 10 pin. Sometimes you ain't gotta hit it hard, you gotta hit it enough. Pause or maybe not. <laughs> uh, no comment on that. <laughs> we're back on the right lane, dead eye. Gets it out right over the second arrow and gets that eight pin to fall late. Yep, a late no eight. Stone eight. <laughs> late eight, still great. Oh, try, oh, yeah, y'all gonna, gonna get drunk off of my stuff. <laughs> right. But I, I, I don't, don't want to say, th this is one of those um, jersey names that I would tag Boogie Hollis in, I will Ooh. say. But that's a dead flush strike, so that's pretty impressive. Oh, that was very good. I ain't good. gonna say that name out loud, but <laughs> good shot for Gerard. Uh, we should call him MD, because right now he's looking like a doctor <laughs> on the lanes. That right, shot was here's magical. King, King James, and there's ten to pin. Oh man, you're, you're gonna see that a lot from that guy. Oh yeah. I bowl in this division. His name gets called for all the pots all the time. Hermy flushes it as well. So we are now, uh, we have 12, 12 shots. Yeah, twelve shots. Eleven out of twelve. That's right. And Craig Bowden was the first one to bow down, but. <laughs> 
But but he he did he still he's still clean. He's still clean. Yes, he's still clean. We we have some requests for 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 beverages already. Uh, the bar the bar's and, not even open yet. It's Jeez. not even open. I got a snack bar open. Speaking of opens, let's see if we can keep this close too. Oh, and, oh. You, see you, Jason. You said the word open. Uh, and then he goes technically, that yeah, was the second one. to say uh, open. It's uh, one of those makeable yet missable situations. This is, it's it's tough, but it's also not the hardest. And I would say this about if, if we get a little graphic up and say um percentage wise, I would say mm -hmm. it's about fifteen percent. Yeah, it's, it's makeable. It's, it's tough as a cheap. You look at it. It's tough as a cheap steak, but you can still cut through it. But enough. I don't like cheap steaks. You should know that right now. You can follow my Facebook feed. All right. This is the right way to shoot at it. You got to hook at it. Get the entire lane. Oh! There you go. That's the one to 15 percent right there. He made it look easy. What? What? <laughs> Bounty hunters. You made that look easy. I said 15 percent chance. Jeez, I would have lost money. Oh, Steiner math? 141 <laughs> percent. What's right, the percentage on the strike? I mean, oh, not that good. But I mean, this is makeable. This is double wood, oh. three nine. Call out the Viagra spear, double wood. <laughs> Shout out to Curtis Hemmer. What up? What up? Double. You know your jersey's on backwards, right? Put the hundred dollars. You. The bar. Well, there's the announcement everyone wanted to hear. The bar will be open in five minutes. And there's a uh, Craig Bowden setting the bar. See, I'm stealing here, but as he makes that spare. That's right. Great, great spare cover. It covers the Viagra spare. The um, double wood is taken care of. Oh my God. <laughs> scratch spare doing what? Well, scratch things. Closing frames. Yep. Had a couple of um, errant shots from the leadoff bowlers this frame, but let's see if the teammates can carry it up. And there you go, Dead Eye with the opening turkey. Beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Let's see if this shot remains magical. Uh, and the messenger takes the 10 pin out. Oh, not, the M is not only for and magical. Gerard also with the front three. It's actually for messenger as well. Yes. All right, here comes King James on the left. Oh, he got that little in, but it's going to hold and gets it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> swimming, in the, swimming in the oil, swims to the finish line, and it finishes <laughs> just fine. And how many is that right now? That's three in a row for him. So that's three in a row, yeah. So we got it's a little early to start calling that out, but oh, we have four bowlers right now that haven't missed yet here on our scratch pair. Let's see. Let's see if Herman continue with a turkey to open up as well. And yeah, that's that flush. Herminator engaged. And showing that's exactly why, why. That's why she's a Hall of yeah, Famer. Sure. <laughs> well, two time Hall of Famer. Two time Hall of Famer. UBA and New York U U USBC. That's right. You already know. I asked her how, how many times has she held the Vixens Championship. She don't even know anymore. I think it's like four or five now. Got <sighs> crew and Thurston up. Picked up the two, four, eight, ten earlier. Yeah, let's see if we can make an adjustment off of that yeah. Aaron shot. I don't think he plans on leaving it again, and that shot's not going to leave it. No. Oh, he wait a minute. He, that now, this one is a lot harder to make. We're just missing the, the four pin from the last shot, but that four pin makes a huge difference. That's because the one. this spare, instead of being a fifty percent shot, is more like a two percent shot. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he wished the um, the four pin probably would have stood up. Yeah, makes makes it easier to make. I mean, you do lose a pin of wood, boss. Yeah, the, mach the machine, the machine tried to help him out and drop the eight out. But yeah, we gotta put the eight we're back. gonna add the eight. So we'll be right back with the, as the mechanic in the back will get the eight pin added back to the to the rack. Mm -hmm. oh. All, right. Oh, wow. All right, we're gonna go over and look at the uh, second pair, the handicap one for one second. As we mm -hmm. see, uh, James Gilmore just got off. He has an open and two strikes. Curtis Hetmeyer on the left uh, has the first two. He is now throwing in the third. And he goes a little high, but gets out of trouble, leaves himself with the 6-10. Definitely out of trouble there. High conversion rate, especially right. being a lefty. Yeah. All right. We're back over here on the scratch, and we're still work we're getting the uh, pin added on eight, but 
Craig has also um, split here. He left the four six seven on lane seven. Mm. Another tough spare to make that. Yeah. Probably just go for the two, get the wood, and move on. Again, the game's still very close. The two leadoff bowlers having small issues, but the, the other, the other their, their two teammates are both carrying them both right now with all, all strikes so far. Yeah. Ho ho hopefully that um, that issue is not a mega issue. Speaking of mega, I know we have a mega event coming up. I'm face palming because I knew that segue was going to be so bad. <laughs> we got Mega Bowl coming up. So anybody in the South watching this and people in the North Land and Travel South, get ready for Mega Bowl. Mega Bowl is going to be quite the event. And that, I was going to say it was going to be quite the carry, but he carried everything except the two pick. Yeah, he got it in a little bit in the oil more than he had wanted it, and it skidded a little too far down. Yep. Right there. When you swim in the oil, you got to make sure you hit it with enough at the bottom to get through the oil and get that that reaction that you want. He yeah. did not want that reaction, no. but could have been worse. But then I got out into dry and smacks that ten pin. Oh man! The pin in the gutter got it before the messenger did. That's an opening four bagger. Yep. Right there. You saw that right there. That was similar to playing video games, playing down and strong kick for a leg sweep. <laughs> See, nice spare made by Gerard over there on lane seven. And our two anchors are now up again. King James and Hermie both looking for their front four. Mm -hmm. James, who got it out a little bit, but it looks like it's going to hold, and he flushes it. Yeah, it's all a little, little um, right, right side drift. Yep. Hermie. Ooh, week 10. Oh, man. Well, maybe some footing issues right there. I think her shoelace is a little loose on the left. Mm. Yeah. The, shoe, the shoelace is a little loose on the left. I think she might have well, we're certainly slipped glad. on a little bit, and maybe that's why she didn't get hit enough on the bottom. Cer then, certainly glad the pins fell and not her. Then quite, yeah. Thank, thankfully for that. Hermie, a steady shooter, so the 10 pins should be no problem for her. Yep, she fixed her shoe. She gets it out, and that is a resin ball, so we'll hook back and make it. And I called that one. No problem on the 10 pin. They yep. say strikes, strikes are big, but right. spares get you there. After four, looks like that bounty has a nine pin lead here on the left lane, but there it's a little more than nine because they have two ballers with four in a row. Whereas the other two are no longer perfect. But Craig gets it back on the strike train, the second strike of the game. Indeed. Here indeed. in the fifth frame. Yeah, it makes up for that fourth frame debacle that he had right there. And he's hoping to go sheet, as they say. Let's see if that does happen. Cruen also with an open in the fourth frame. Let's see if he can maintain the right mind frame yeah, he needs to get in the back. fifth frame. He needs frame. to hook the ball a little more. Looks like he does, but a little too much as he leaves a four pin. Yeah, yeah. I know Luther Vandrew says never too much, but uh, that was a little too much. Yeah. Right through, right. Oh, not going through the face, but a little high. All right. Here's MD on the right, trying to get back on it, and that's a nice shot. So he recovers from that errant tap in the fourth frame. Yeah, Still what, on 279 pace. What'd you say his jersey name was? MD. Not going to say the whole name? Here's Hermie on the right lane, trying to get back onto the strike train, and that is Ooh. a good shot. A very good shot. <laughs> a good shot. Definitely got through the got through the, um, through the pocket a lot better than the other one. The other one finished a little bit behind the head, but that is okay. Yeah. You know, so what what do you what do you see when you see these two teams, and who do you see having an edge? You know, on paper. I mean, on paper, you look at. The, the name, I mean, you see Hermie Hannibal, you might think, you know, great things. Mm -hmm. But King James is very solid. Mm -hmm. He's been leading this Bounty Hunter team for the last four or five years as their every match anchoring the Scratch Bear, being their best bowler. And, you know, 230 plus average bowlers. Mm -hmm. 230 for a reason. Yeah. You, you can relate. I can relate. Just my team has guys who are 235. That's why I don't see that shine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fake 230. He's a real 230. There's a difference. I'm 230 on the Wii. <laughs> but I can bring up your, your, your subbing scores on Wednesday. Although we both, we're both 230 on Wednesdays because <laughs> <laughs> we're in the same league. 
Well, that's that, that's how, that's why that's why I'm over here calling it. They're out here bowling. <laughs> that's why you stop bowling three games. <laughs> and you're dead on. And speaking of dead, and dead, dead on, on, we got dead eye. We, we got dead eye coming up. <laughs> I told you, I got them M MTA segways. Except mine's on time. I see MTA never. That's easy on backwards. But uh, then I looking for an opening five bagger uh -huh. and gets. Oh, oh no! He got five. He got. He got five. He's been taking the church here. Yeah, it ain't Sunday, but you know what? Those... And, and his anchor's Greek. <laughs> oh my goodness, Opa! <laughs> as long as I smash your plates, we're fine. Th this is. Uh, this is still makeable. I made it one time. I made Let's... it one time in my life also. Let's see if we can see. And uh, I mean, oh, he's going zero. For it. Uh, oh, okay. Well, well, it's more than zero. It's definitely more than zero. One is the onlyest number. Yeah. Not what he wanted, but, you know, it's a, it happens. Let's see if James can pick his teammates up here and let him get the opening five-bagger. Oh, looks like he missed a little left, but he got there and finished strong. Very good. And anchoring for a reason yep. is King James. Front five for King James. All right, after five now, it looks like it's 308 for Bounty, 292 for SK. But SK has all strikes in the fit frame, whereas Bounty has an open, a spare, and a double. So Bounty's up by six at the moment. Yep. Right now, yeah, King James is in the zone while we're in the zone. And, and Craig Bowden stepping up. And nine pin. Ooh, almost a seven nine, almost a lefty leave. I mean, if a righty leaves a seven nine, see, that's a little misconception I see a lot. People think a righty leaving a seven nine is a bad shot. I, it's a bad shot, but it's not because you're doing a flat pancake shot. Crewing going up on the right lane, and he flushes it. Oh, yeah. So after three straight shots of not getting what he wanted, back on the strike train for Mr. Crewing Thurston. <laughs> As he tells me, it's a little iffy out there. Yeah, a little iffy. I see <laughs> Crewing out here was giving tutorials on how to pick up splits. And speaking of picking up spares, Craig Bowden picks up his spare, converts. Only one, one blemish on his score. Yeah, that I trying to get out of that Greek church mindset from the last shot, trying to get back onto the strike train. And that looks better. He got it up. Oh, maybe not, though. Oh. It looked better, but he got it a little too fast, it looks like, and leaves himself to 2810. Looks like um, both, both sides experiencing potential over under. Um, usual strategy is to get around that. Whatever may be happening is to usually get outside of what's being created. Yeah. But I mean, if, you go, if over under is a little too strong, if you go too far right, it might overhook. That's mm. the only issue. Indeed. Let's see what we got here on the left lane. Now, again. It looks like the, the carry down is actually what's going to be hurting these mm -hmm. guys a little more because that one again skittled a little too much and for the second straight time on the left lane a two pin. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, let's see. We got all right. We got the two pin. Let's got the wood. That's right. Not playing hero ball there. Definitely going for the wood. Yeah. Wood is always good, especially when um, every pin matters and they yes. all matter. So Draw gets the two pin, and now we're back to the anchor bowlers. Let's see what James can do here. Let's see if we get on the front six train. And he does. Ooh, call him King. Beautiful. Kicking out the 10 pin yep. was the Harmonator herself, reigning defending Vixen's champion, Hermie Hannibal. There's a lot of rambling in the back, man. I think they want to be like you. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be like me. That's right. Just not a bowling. <laughs> well, let, let's let's see what crew got for right. us right now in frame number. Oh, overhook. Three six ten. I think he liked it, but then it overhooked on him. Yeah, seven count in the seventh frame. All right, Craig getting back on it, and he flushes it in the face. In the face. Yes. And that was a big shot. Now, you know, trying to get back into the lead here. And SK's, you know, they're right there. 
These two teams very close here on the scratch on the scratch pair. Ooh, that's gotta hurry. Uh, that, that's oh, that's gonna go hard ways. Ooh, the harder way. That's right. Speaking of hard ways, I'll be going to Atlantic City this week. <laughs> See, I'm trying to segue like you. That's the talking about myself. So I should be talking myself. <laughs> shout, shout out to the Jersey team. <laughs> And shout out to that conversion. That conversion was big. Yep. Uh, Bowden definitely made him um, regret leaving a seven count, but at least he didn't have too much remorse. That wasn't Bowden. That was Thurston. Uh, no, no, no. Bowden I said Bowden made him regret it. Yeah. Someone does that in, in your face, you got to strike. Yep. Speaking of uh, trying to things to regret, I'm not as good as you are segways. <laughs> but um, that eye over here, ready to uh, try to get back on track. Oh, oh not like this. Stone Man. seven pin off the righty. Defiant seven pin. Defiant. That guy's gonna try to take advantage of that, but he's split the last two frames, but that's not a split. Oh, no, 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 no. He's trying to split the difference. Yes. <laughs> should be, should be no problem on the seven pin. All over it. All over that seven pin. And definition of a silent killer is Hermie Hannibal, Hannibal. As, as well as Mr. MD over here. Yes. And pause in advance. I'll say his name. <laughs> Magically delicious. Yes, there you go. Shout out to Mark 17th coming up. <laughs> I will say it's not the worst I've seen. It's not, <laughs> not the, by a lot. <laughs> and that's definitely not the worst shot. That is, ooh, another 10 pin. Not the full desired result, but All it's right. still, still a good pocket shot. King James looking for a front seven here on lane seven. Seventh frame? And I, 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 think it's, I think he's hit the same mark every time. I, I think so. It's just that easy, or I'm, you yeah. know? Sometimes you just got it. See, real bowlers do that. You real know, bowlers. Hit, you know, hit their target. Yo, sh shout out to DDK, real bowlers. <laughs> and no problem right. on the spear conversion for, yes, for, seven. for Hermie Hannibal, yes. Bounty with 427 and SK with 420. Nice. Um, but again, the seven in a row for King James making a big difference as it's actually not a seven pin lead, but more like a 27 pin lead for Bounty Hunters. Craig Bowden up, lane number seven in the eighth frame. Nice shot by Craig Bowden. I also want to shout out real quick, um, over on Handicap 2, Jeremy Silman has the front seven himself as well for SK. Oh, my goodness. Over on Handicap 2 pair. So we'll, we'll go over there a little later if, if he gets closer. Meanwhile, roll a four pin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Rolling you, four pins. Yep, yep, yep. You mentioned 420, and that, and that pin rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of 420 rolled up, Curtis Hetmeyer's in the building. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got our first You Suck of the Day. Yes, we do. And uh, we are, that, we are that definitely leave here. Yeah, that definitely sucked for um for the magical one himself. The magical one. Makeable yet missable. Yeah. This one, yeah. This one's actually pretty. It's definitely one of the easier ones. W what do you say? Go for it or go for the wood? I mean, you're on a spare, so it's only one pin. Go for it. If you're on a strike, maybe you'd be a little more cautious. But when you're on a spare and it doesn't mean too much, only one pin. And it's not like it, it's not like it's a hard spare. Mm. You know, I would say it's about a 30% spare. Look at that. All right, looks like we're going to have a little, uh, ball return. Ball return seven and eight. Uh, so we'll take a think. look at two, two real quick. The second lane as James Gilmore was just up and left himself a 2-5 uh, two split. 2-5, two not split, but 2-5 spare. Over here on Handicap 1, it looks like it is 399 for SK and 459 for Bounty. Hmm. But I don't know if the Handicap is in or not. No. It might, oh, it is in, okay. Yeah, so Bounty's up good amount here and Ooh. Ooh, James slices the five pin off so oh. Bounty looking really good here on handicap one Absolutely. handicap two though I will oh Bounty's actually looking good on handicap two but it's a little closer over there even with Jeremy with front seven mm. it's and Bounty up by a little bit over there yep and MD um, right there with his first um, yep. blemish all right dead eye back on to 
the line here, got his ball return, but gets only a five count. Sure. But he has oh, a strike, man. so he can, if he spares this, which, you yeah, know. Half a loaf. Half a loaf. He's Something happened out on the lane crashes in there. <laughs> Shout out to all, all the noise. Oh, oh, it's Joey Acero on front 10 over down there. That's what all the noise is. And then I does, in fact, get his spare done yes. here. So it takes right. care of the five that he left on the table. And, well, good thing is he was on a strike, so, yeah, so didn't lose any count. Five spare, nine spare, same thing. That's right. Hermie up on the left. Trying to get her team back in it. And, oh, the seven does not go. Mm -mm, yep, and uh, that carry down right now taking effect a little bit. King James right now up on lane eight right now. King James has front seven. Let's see if we can go front eight on lane eight. Overhooked. Oh, no. Oh, six count. Great run for King James. The Got three, a little six, nine, ten. Yeah. As Harvey makes the seven pin. feel like he slowed it up. So, Rob, uh, I think so. That's what it looked like. Makeable yet missable. Let's see if it gets there. It's walking Whoa. to it. That's got to hurry. That's oh. not, not hurry. An open frame means that this snatch is now wide open again. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm glancing over to see if Joey gets a 300 game here now on just <laughs> the right of our uh, feature match here. Oh, he threw the ball, fist pumped, and walked away. You saw that? that I, yeah, definitely Jeez, did. that's when you know you have confidence. Quick 300, shout out Joey, to Joey Acera. Acera. Lane crashers with a 300. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see if Craig Bowden right now can get back on track. Let's see if he can get back in the zone here, a Danny strike zone. Yeah, if he gets a strike here, I mean, SK might take a lead, and Ooh. there's a big strike. Ninth frame, you got a turkey. When the other team doesn't have an, an open. Oh, hopefully, um, Bounty Hunter's not being philanthropic. Yeah. And, uh, oh, almost a 4 7 10. Almost. But the 10 pin stands for yeah. Gruen. Yeah, very, 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 um, a very, very, well, tough 10 pin. That's a tough 10. It got hit, didn't fall. Yep. I can also say that uh, Jeremy did throw the eighth shot for SK over on Handicap 2. And uh-oh, that ball did not get there. Mm, and driver. that's not what you want to see. GPS rerouted on that. Oh, uh, Gerard gets a little high, leaves himself a 3-6. Yeah, he pitched that inside, looked like it hung on his thumb a little bit. And this is um, anybody's game for game one. Yeah. I mean, that open definitely hurts Bounty Hunt a little bit. Uh, but it's still close, especially with the open on James' side down at the bottom. So, uh, if Gerard makes this, SK looking pretty good to try to sneak this first game away from Bounty. Gets it out. No and problem with that. Three six is out. Dead eye up. Dead eye up the lane. And, and that's what shot. Bounty shot. needed that shot. Yes. They needed it real bad. And Hermie stands up now and take the lead with a strike. I believe. No, not a lead yet. Oh uh, yeah, it could be a lead. But she's a strike and yeah. carries the light mixer. Yeah, Aitman her, goes late. In her, in her, in her DJ <laughs> right there. Mix it up. <laughs> All right, James trying to get back on track after that open frame and does so. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Got a, got right. a little merciful Ten carry there. Frame time. Yep. And this match is very close. The score sheet says 539 to 536. Mm. Well, when you look beyond the score sheet, you see a double on Craig's side. And his shot is going to be huge because he's the only one on a double here. Yes, indeed. So if he draws the strike here, SK takes the lead. Yep. If and he doesn't, and then Kruen can get up and take the lead right back. So this will be back and forth action here in the 10th frame here. Yeah, right now, Mental Edge is going to, um, for game one, is going to Silent Killers. They all close their foundation frames. Yes. 
There was only one blink, and that was uh, Cruins missed 10 pin. Let's yeah, see if Cruins made the 10 pin to be completely different story right now. Yes, let's see if the, be the Beast can feast. And Jeremy Sullivan with front nine over on Handicap 2 for oh, SK. Lord. And Craig saw something he didn't like. Was he able to stop? That's right. Sometimes you got to know when. And he knew when at that moment he stepped back. Yep. Craig with the throw. He gets way out there, but will it come back? Yes, Ooh. it will. And carries the four pin late. Oh man, DJ's over here, man. We just oh, everybody mixing. Shout out to mixed drinks. <laughs> All right, here's Crew and batting was a chance. I think that he needs this one. He made a ball change, yes. and the nine goes late. A wise ball change of that, something a little yes. more calmer and more predictable. Yes, that definitely looked like a a solid piece of uh, mm -hmm. solid bowling yeah. ball. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, keep going. <laughs> I caught myself. <laughs> All right, this is another huge shot here for Craig. Still on a bunch of strikes in a row. That, that looks like a good shot. Yeah, that's... And he knew that one. Throwing that hammer 3D offset. That's right. Look, looking to look, look, storm. Looking, looking <laughs> to pentagrass it. Looking to close the door. Yes. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Shout out to the Teddy Pentagrass fans. They already know that. <laughs> Did you say fans plural? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Crew and trying to get back on here. Oh, mixes it up, but uses yeah. seven. Yeah, the, the, the ball surface there uh, definitely saved him yes. from, from disaster. All right, so we can now confidently say that mm -hmm. as of this exact moment, uh -huh. SK is leading the scratch player. Absolutely. But it's not over yet. Not over yet. And he walks it out, walks and away. And he will look back and see that he left the 10-pin. Yeah, he, he might no not witness. look at. No witnesses. But, I mean, if you're, if you're gonna miss, that's the time to miss. Yes. Cruin makes the seven pin. So Craig Brown with a 223. Crew and Thurston with a 179. That's all right. The score right now says 595 to 559. Mm. And Bounty has two strikes as opposed to a sparing strike. So if they all go out, SK still wins. So SK with a solid advantage. Just MD stands up and leaves a 10 pin. Mm. All right, so that, you know, if then I can get a double here, you, it, it's, it's definitely a, a close match again. Indeed, anything is possible. All things are possible when, yep. well, basically when you're on the lanes because only thing that's for sure is nothing's for sure. Okay, Sting. <laughs> Man, there's a strike for Dead Eye. That was, that was really big. That stung. <laughs> All right. There's a and big 10 pin make, and he makes it. Yes, I was going to say, he died definitely would sting if he would have missed that. I can confirm that Bounty will win Handicap 1. They are up a lot. And is it, was that was that a trade shot over there? Handicap 2. Um, Jeremy's standing up with front nine, but Bounty's leading over there anyway, even with the front nine. And a Ooh. big strike for Deadeye. That was definitely big. Hi, Steve. Oh, yeah, yeah. The ugly ones need love, too. Beauty's on the inside. <laughs> All right, Gerard trying to finish off strong. Another 10-pin. Mm, may need an angle change. Um, that usually is a telling sign. Yep, and so it's, it's good when it happens 23 to, it looks like, 609. Mm -hmm. Oh. Jeremy with the first attempt shot. Mm. So, so for MD, what do you feel his adjustment would have to be, being that he threw it the same way uh, two times and had the same result? I think you got to move like a little bit right or slow it down a little bit, one to two. Mm. Trying to get the entry angle in a little sharper. He's got the ball's not finishing the way he wants it to. Mm. Hervey steps up, trying to lock him out with a strike here, and does so. Well, turn out the lights, the party's over. <laughs> 
That's what I'm saying. You need a big. At least for this game. You need a big shot. But SK needed it because they're losing those pairs. That's right. Big shots need big players to make them. Yep. King James up. Easy. King James hey. carries the 10-pin. That's right. But yeah, I think that might be just a little too little too late here. Yeah. You, you see the expression on his face. Yep. Right there. I mean, it tells the story. Both for the team and for, I mean, he also, you know, he might, when he's shooting an 11-strike game like he might, you're always going to regret that one shot. And Hermie flushes the last one. I want to take a look as Jeremy now has front 11 over on the last one. There's no way to get the handicap. Two right front 11. Yeah. I just want to see front 11 shot. And we are going to go over to handicap two as yes. Jeremy Silliman has front 11. And we will see if we can get it done. We already had one 300 drone today by Joey Sarah over on Lane Crashers. Mm -hmm. But SK's Jeremy Silman has been a member of SK for almost the entire existence of the team. Going for 300. Pitches it out. And gets it. There you go. 300, 300 game. Jeremy Silman. 300. That's two today. Somebody had the caffeine. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to caffeine. <laughs> caffeine TV. Yo. So let's talk about. Yep. Shout out to Jeremy. Jeremy Shout Silver. Jeremy Silver. With 300. For your 1,527 career 300 game? No, no, that's only number 15. 15? Oh, man, he only has one, le one less than me. And he has like 14 more than you. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to statistics. <laughs> and what's the what's the statistic right now for for handicap? Oh, for this one, I'll be handicap too. You know, a little struggle here on the second ball for SK. So, I mean, it's not quite over yet because the hanger bowler here has a double, but the, the hanger bowler for Brownie has 290 pace going. So, ooh, wow. Yeah, so handicap one is, it, it's out. Brownie's going to win that. Scratch went to SK. This one, it's looking like, I mean, if Mr. Silent one here draws two more, you know, it's anybody's game. This one is very close. Indeed. You have two, two, um, two high numbers there on the bottom there. Again, Jeremy to 300. This is a big shot. I mean, he gets there. Ooh, mm. ringing 10 pin. What? Oh, that one hurt. Threw it well, too. Yep. So, I mean, it's not over yet because. Both on double, so, you know, one if, if, if Bounty taps and SK strikes, SK can steal this one as well. Gets it up the lane and covers the tip. I was just getting All right, so Malcolm is up now trying to ice the game for Bounty Hunters and also finishes with 290 and gets the carry. <laughs> right there, anchor bowl. Yeah, Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm on a 290 pace. Sam drawing for SK. Oh, no, that's not good. Man. So, Bounty will take handicap two as well as handicap one. Mm -hmm. SK did sneak the scratch away. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We're just going to finish this, though. As Mr. Fitty going for 290. Another Ooh. nice strike. Let's go, let's go. They over here throwing bombs at each other. All right, we're going to head over and we're going to focus on handicap one for game two. They're about to start up again. They started with, Bounty has a one, the first game by 160. So SK has a little work to make up for us. Oh, and but 
Lex Luger Lex torturing Luger. the wreck. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Yeah, you already I, I, know. I knew Mr. Wrestling Obsessed. Like, I'm a wrestling fan, but this guy's wrestling obsessed. I, I'm a mark. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, for the handicap pair right now, what's your what's the single handicap pair number one? For Bounty Hunters, you got Adam Bright, Anthony Reynolds, shout out Tony Reynolds, and Curtis Jobless. Yes. Hemp my and, and SK, you have... Alexi or Alexis Rivero, that was Lex Luger who just started with the strike. Yes. We got Bernadette Savory, and we got James Gilmore. That's right. Well, I bowl against James every Monday at Funfest Lanes. <laughs> and up. Uh, ooh, frame one matches Lex. Yeah, I got Bounty won the first game by 160. That's right. Which is a lot. He flexed on Lex right there oh with a strike of his own. Here comes Bernadette. Miss B, as her jersey says. That's right. And she has a high backswing. You wouldn't think, when you see it, Bernadette, you don't think she would have a backswing like she does. Yeah, Watch this. She had that high backswing for years. Yes. Look at that. And that high backswing does not get the seventh pin down, unfortunately. Yeah, a little light mixer didn't didn't take Hunter, out right. Another the seventh pin. Bounty Hunter member that's been around forever, Mr. Ten Pins. <laughs> Tony Reynolds That's up. Anthony Reynolds. Bold head energy. And only oh. got the 10 out, but he leaves himself uh, the 4 7. That's right, 4 7. Good. We got just a good, this is a good battle. Both teams definitely came to play. Especially on this, this cold, freezing winter day. Yeah, we just got about six inches of snow dumped on us out of nowhere. They said it was going to be two. We got six. <laughs> on Tuesday, they said we are getting 12. We got two. Go figure. Well, yeah, speaking well, of two. But we all made it out here. <laughs> speaking of two, you saw Tony left two pins up. Let's see if he can um, make it eight plus two and still get ten in the end. And let's see if Tony Reynolds takes out his pair. No problem yeah, on no that problem conversion. No problem for Anthony. Miss B. Up on, up on the lanes, up on lane nine. Nine count on lane nine. Nine plus one is still ten. And that's where right, it turns his back on it. All right, so now we got Curtis and James here anchoring our handicap one pairs. Curtis for Bounty Hunters, James for Silent Killers. Curtis, a deliberate lefty, takes his time getting to the line, but gets the ball down and carries it. Ooh, way to switch it out. Sweeping out. Yeah, sweeping out the 10 pin. James with the Roto Grip gem. Goes a gem of a shot and gets the seven pin out. I'm trying to be like Sean Knight. <laughs> Sean, Sean, I missed my pun. I, I, I said missed. James Gilmore, growing with the Roto Grip gem, throws a <laughs> gem of a shot. <laughs> Indeed. And I just got a gem <laughs> of a hug from, from Miss Tasha Bartlett. <laughs> oh, and back. The man right now. The narcissist. <laughs> All right, maybe not. But Alexei, Lex Luger. Oh, man. Flexes the pins down. Flexi Lexi. 4% body fat. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely mixes it up. Let's see. The big hitter big is what it says hitter. on the back of his jersey. Let's see if Whereas he can hit I big. Big bunter. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the future's bright for Adam Bright. Oh, Ooh. a little cloudy on that. Yep. Head drew, drew the face, but leaves only the 3 6. Very easy, makeable spare. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yet missable. Yet missable. Burning that with the backswing and strips the 4 7 9 down. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so Burning that Savory, very, very steady with her shot. Very consistent, like you said, high back yeah, yeah. swing. Who knows where she's placing it at all times. All right, 
three six conversion. Oh, hang on. Ooh. It did hang on, apparently. Yes. But got the spare down. It held on for one more board. A little bit of Wilson Phillips action. <laughs> Gilmore up for SK on the right. Trying to keep his streak up. Oh, well, Jim faded out there. Yep. But it went a little high, but no split. Yep. Ho hopefully that up. means no trouble. 6-10. As Anthony's up on the left lane for Bounty, the second bowler. Says Mr. 10 pins. Let's see if he gets all 10 on the first shot. Look. That's a good shot. Yeah. I don't know about you. Basket shot. God, I mean, that's how I said. Bald head energy. <laughs> <laughs> and the ball got down there in a hurry, too. Yes. Gilmore looking to convert to 6'10. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, a little risky during the jump for uh, Ashton because you know it's going to hook. That yeah, is a flirtation shot. It flirted yes. with disaster there. So we got, we got John Bless himself. Curtis Hetmeyer up on lane nine. Frame number two. Got the desired start that he wanted. Let's see if we can keep paving that, that golden road. Let's see if there's still golden bricks. Got out a lot, but got out a little too much. Yeah, a little, little, little too far out. Yep, a little wash out. One, three, six, out in seven. The cold. So he's gonna try to hook at it. It's gonna be the slow hook. Maybe. Oh! Hey. He knows what he's doing. There you go. He's only been bowling since like yeah. before we was born. Yeah, yeah. That, that was Usher right there. That was nice and slow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's why I knew that this team, this, this team would work. Cause I know you'd be making those horrible hunts. And oh, I'd, you already know. I'd be like. Yeah, that's right. head, Even away. when I'm not lined up on the lanes, I'm lined up with the puns. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> Speaking of lined up, we see the big hitter getting lined up right now. I thought you were gonna make a cocaine reference there, I swear. <laughs> with lines. What, 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 Wait, is, what? That? Uh, what, what? is that? What is that? You know, it's about the Eric Clapton. <laughs> ah, that's a nice flush shot. Go. Yeah, flush. By the way, that song is on my, my Spotify. <laughs> 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 Only the song. Only the song. More Pepsi than Coke. <laughs> and, and speaking of which, speaking of wrestlers that wrestled during that time, Lex Luger right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, no. 467. That time the rack tortured yeah. Lex. That, that looks like the Hogan Lake drop hit him. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. He did, well, the pins did not sell for Lex Luger. Let's see if he can make them sell and get himself a conversion. You know, Tony Rivers. Right lane. Oh. Oh. You know, those ring tens are the worst. <laughs> yeah, especially when you ring them on, 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 a the, wrong side. on the wrong side. <laughs> no hero ball there. Just takes out the 4 7. That would could come back and help them win the game. Anything is, anything yep. is possible. Anything is possible, but right. But again, it's still very early. We're only in the third frame here. So. Only in the third frame. <laughs> and this is the uh, the ten pins that Anthony's known for. Bill get his jersey name, Mr. Ten Pins. Yes, right. Lines up, squares up, walks up, gets it up, and, he and makes it. knocks it down. There we go. Indeed. Action Jackson over here um, sh show, showing that he's very pleased with the, with the spare conversion over there. And that was a good cover. Miss B up. Burnett with FaceTime, but 3610, no trouble. Yeah, that, yeah, that, ball, that ball took an early bite. Ten 
Miss B right now with three six ten. Makeable yet missable situation. And that's got a hurry. And the hard way, but still, that spear is no longer there. She took it away, took it away, took it away. I'm going to take it away to Kenny. What do you got? Curtis stepping up in the third frame, anchoring bounty hunters on lane 10. Like I said, slow and deliberate. Gets it out, and not too far out this time, so this could be good. And it was. Ten Eddie. more like that? No, you, you, you heard it Only right there. Only ten? I mean, you got like you got, you got an entire another game. <laughs> Tell him. <laughs> you only have nine frames left. <laughs> <laughs> There's only nine frames left. And and Gilmore. Uh -oh. And he's got two pins left. Yes. <laughs> On the left. Yep, the four seven. This one shouldn't be an issue, but then again, you never know. But it shouldn't yep. be an issue. The issue is it should never be an issue, but when it's an issue, man, it's an issue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gilmore up. Uh, uh, got up. And he gets Ooh. there. Yeah, good. Little ricochet. Yeah. The one and only. That's right. Luger up. And Alexei trips the five out, but the seven is standing. Yeah. A avoided a five seven leave. Because if the five, well, if he would have took out the seven, left the five, we would have had what we call uh, a situation. Situation. <laughs> All right, here is Adam on the left lane. Big hitter. That looks nice. But, ooh, ooh. It looked nice, but it checked up a little too early. Mm -hmm. It leaves a four, seven, nine, split. Yeah. Now this down. one, this one is makeable. Yeah, that it, strand was very high. It's a, it's a little, it's, it's a little tricky, but it's makeable. As Alexi covers the top of pin, let's see if Adam can cover the four seven nine here. So we have the big hook in here. And, and oh, oh, a little too much hooking. Played hero ball. And unfortunately, that was on a strike, so he just drew away. Yeah. Well, could have been four whole pins. That was all risk, no reward. And that's for, for sure. Adam Bright. And the light may be dimming in his own mind, but he's got to keep it on if he wants to turn it around. That's Bernadette. Pipes down there. Oh, the Ooh. seven doesn't go, and she leaves a split herself. Six, seven, ten. Yeah, a little bit of gives these backsies there. Yep. Bernadette may be looking to, um, well, should be looking to slide it over, focusing on the 10 pin, hoping to slide. Let's see if, oh, a little slide right there so by the, Anthony Reynolds. Slide to the left. Huh. Let's see if Bernadette can cover, at least get the two maybe. I mean, a, she wasn't a spare, so there's no, uh, she's not a huge loss if she misses this, but there's two pins to go for her. As she slides it over, and all right, she's got the two. Yep. And we're, and we're yep. And two. Moving over to handicap here, too. We're going to handicap two for a little bit here. We see there in frame three, Mr. 287 standing up. Again, opened the first frame, but struck the second. But unfortunately, no 287 this game as he has gone face and mm. leaves the three, six, nine, ten. Shout out to iPhone Another users. Six count. FaceTime. Wow, 10 pin cover there by Mr. Jones. And, and oh. Malcolm does not cover the not, spare. No Leaves cover, a six no pin cover for Mr. Umbawe. And I got Sam Chow stepping up for SK on the left side. Let's go, Kurt. Let's go, Kurt. And nice strike there. Nobody, 
Yeah. Sam Shaw right there. All right, we're going back to the handicap one team. We saw Gilmore. Whoa, I don't know what that was, but he carries some ugly stuff right there, but oh, he will take yes. it. As my teammate Ken Shaw would say, best shot he's drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the lights out. <laughs> Big hitter. It's not one in your motion. At least he's in the position. Big hitter up. Big hitter gets it out, brings it back, and flushes the pocket. Ooh, flush, flush. The flush we trust, Adam Bright. Alexei up on the left side. Uh, Alexis Rivero, otherwise known as Lex Luga. Lex Luga. Let's see if we're gonna hear the Lex Luger scream. You know, I scream during every spot. <laughs> oh! Let's see if he's screaming for a good reason. He gets it out, comes it back, and leaves himself double wood, the two eight spare. Yes, yes, blue pill. Double the wood. Two pin with a with a, a thick shadow in the form of an eight pin. Anthony gets a little left. I want to say a little left. It's a little left. A little left. But and, and, and that, it shows that he's a little ambidextrous there. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little left. Best lefty thrown with the right hand over there. He's the best lefty on the team. <laughs> Meanwhile, where's Curtis at? That's right. I tell you, ball head energy. I'll tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Great spare conversion there by Lex Luger. Looking to keep his frames clean with the exception of frame th frame number three. Bernadette Sabre is going to be up on lane nine. Had a little hiccup there, leaving the 6, 7, 10 in the previous frame. Looking to not repeat that same mistake. Bernard stepping up on the left lane. Pitches it out. But again, gets a little face. But this time, no split. No just, split. Just a 3 6. Yeah, not looking the most comfortable. But as long as it's not a split. You always got a shot. Probability always goes up. 3-6, very makeable. And again, missable. Miss B should have no problem covering this right here. I know I bowled against her enough times in the league. She makes them when she needs them. <laughs> Shout out Joey Acero, who has front 20 oh. so far to start this day. Front 20 for Joey yeah. Acero, wow. <laughs> I mean, he's done this before. Oh, Ooh, and she that's why I said six. makeable yet missable. Sorry, Miss B, if I put that out there, please don't choke me. Yeah, that's 21 in a row for Joey Acero. Yeah. That's, uh, he, he did a couple years ago over Garden City. He had the front uh, 27, I think. Wow. So familiar territory for him. He's a good baller. Yeah, that's true. If he keeps doing that, the bounty's going to be on him. But right but, now, the camera's on bounty. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of bounty, Curtis said he's going to go throw the last 10 strikes with nine frames to go somehow. That, that's right. Oh, Ooh, avoids a Malik. <laughs> we, we almost got the cameras out on that shot. And Curtis, Curtis right now saying what he said. And he said, he, he said what he said he said. You know, I got the second one. Ah! So the end of the match. Speaking of the match. All right, is good. Speaking of the match, I got Miss Tasha Bartlett here. Impromptu interview time. Um, so you represent Bounty Hunters, and y'all looking good. Um, what do y'all see for y'all future, especially um, going maybe into the playoffs? What are y'all thinking about? Absolutely. Uh -huh. First place all the way. Yeah, could I be talking to a future champion if you ever go on, on, a, on a title list? Possibly. Possibly. Hopefully, ho hopefully I get a chance to call that. All right. <laughs> All right, and All let's right. see the call the strike. As Lex Luger gets up, and oh, no. Ooh. 
Six. One, two, four, ten. Mm. Another washout. Make a little force. As most washouts are. Yes. Well, hopefully he'll clean up the washout. Big hitter. Well, Adam on the left, the big hitter. Yep. Who who actually missed everything while trying to convert a spare. He's trying to make up for that. Yes, and a uh, double would definitely help him out. But oh! oh, he threw a strike, but the pins didn't agree. He forgot the nine pin. <laughs> Higher conversion rate definitely on big hitters as opposed to Lex. Yeah. Oh, Lex looks like, uh, no. Oh. And the four pin does not want to go down either, so only two so, off the washout conversion. So in that situation, you know, I'd be excited that he didn't get everything, but still be mad at myself that I got nothing when I try to convert mine. Yeah. Speaking of converting and hitting everything, looks like no problems here. As Hinton gets the nine pin down. Definitely. Had a great hit on that first shot. Didn't get the carry. So maybe that could be a little look into the future for a big hitter. Yep. Now we've got our second ball is here. Bernadette on the left for Sonic Killers. This time she got it out. And it comes back. But oh, the 5 Ooh. 7 stands. Yeah, unmerciful. Unmerciful were the pins there. 5 7 stands up for Miss B. Any adjustments that you would make if you're Miss B right now? I mean, so the, the last two shots she would face, she tried to make an adjustment to go right, but the ball didn't come back. So maybe you just slow it down a little bit. Mm. Stick with the right side so it can read, and then slow it down so the ball can actually finish down the end. Oh, almost carried something but, a little messy. But Mr. Tenpins back again. Yeah, 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 leaving his namesake. Yes. <laughs> All right, the five seven. All you gotta do is, it's, it's easy to slide it over. Definitely not the hardest one in the world. Definitely one of the easier ones, so let's see if she can make it. Seen her make it before. Let's see if we'll make it on camera. And, nope. Uh, no hero too ball. much. No hero ball. As oh. Mr. Ten Pins makes it. No problem. Okay. That, 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 ball, that ball was skating a little bit. I got a little nervous for him. But then again, this is why I'm back here. He's up there. James Gilmore up. JG3. And a little weak 10 pin action. Yep. Uh, that's one thing about using the solid surface. Early hook, but early stop. And yeah. a lot of times doesn't drive through. And he's pitching it inside, so he's pitching it in the oil. Yep. That's a little finish. Speaking of finish, Acera looking to oh, no. over there looking to finish. It looks like he got but did not finish. Not well, Stone 810, but well, front 21, great run though, for Joey Sarah. What was that? Front 20, 21. Front 21. And let's see if we're going to get that back 10 that Curtis talked about. Yep. Uh, and there you go. When he's focused like that, he's one of the best there is. Best there was. Best there ever will be. <laughs> great execution. Excellent. Excellent excuse me, <laughs> some might say. Excellently executed 10 pin by James Gilmore yep. the third. Yeah, so we're looking here now. We are now through six, and it's Bounty has 420. Nice. I'm, I'm sure uh, Curtis likes the fact that they have 420 right now. Mm. Oh, yes, you know, and, high uh, hopes. And 363 for SK. Strong to the finish. He rolls his spinach. <laughs> Hold on, we, 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 got, we got to have a little interview here. As I, I'm joined by uh, an OG member of everything. Oh, the camera's still on your teammate over here. <laughs> Even though she's posing for the camera, it's not on her. All right. We got... <laughs> oh, and... Oh, just focus on a 7-10. Yeah, 7-10 strikes a pose. Is that right? All right. Hey. <laughs> what do we get you to? <laughs> you, you, think, you think he's going to make it on camera? Mm -mm. Do you think so? You want to bet on it? Nope. <laughs> hey, you know what, but you know what? I bet one thing. I definitely bet that right now he's got to be wondering what is going That's on. That's Hermes. That's, that's my fixing belt. That's Hermes fixing belt. That's my. You got to beat her for it. 
I'm going to take it. I ain't going to beat nobody. Yeah. Well, you know what? And you know who's beating themselves up right now? Big hitter. Now, I'm yeah. trying to figure out what's going on. He he throws it very well, leaves a nine pin. He gets it out, hoping for a different reaction, and leaves that. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. I was just going to go for the seven here, so just going to play it safe. But make sure you got the wood. I mean, they're up. They don't want to take any more risks here. They're up a lot right now. Yeah. So what, what it seems like we're experiencing here at Danny's, and like you mentioned before, Danny's not known for necessarily being easy or China, as they would say. Correct. Scores, um, I, I mean, yeah. We did have somebody on front 21, but he's, you know, good. Yeah. They, uh, I, sc scores are, they're not high, but they're not low either. Uh, they're, they're normal. Exactly. Show me a You know, yeah. a lot of over, under. Yeah, 300, 266. <laughs> yeah. Y'all get um, President down there with his 288s. Oh, must be up. No, we didn't go. Well, the camera's only on you guys. Oh. As, as well as should be. Much, much needed strike there for uh, Miss B getting her spirits up. Yes, Bernadette yeah. gets a strike to get off the schneid she was in. Three straight opens. Now y'all winning. No. All right. Oh, um, scratch pair. Oh, uh, yeah, y'all losing scratch right now. Tony up. Oh, Tony's and, up. and Drudo knows, Ooh. but gets lucky to leave on the six pin. Yeah, sh shout out to, to, to no tap out here. Yep. So Gilmore trying to get the ball to hook and gets ten out. And it does hook. Who has the advantage so far right now? On, handicap two on, on handicap on handicap one right now. From what we're on saying. handicap one is definitely up. It's definitely bounty is up on handicap one. Handicap two. I'm trying to see what the scores look like. It's very close. 405 to 401. Mm. And the two bowlers that went off last game, they're doing it again. Because Jeremy has um, 290 pace for seven. Wow. He goes shoot 290. Everyone 300. And um, also not only that, it's um, not only Malcolm that's doing good, but Wayne is also doing good for Bounty over there. Right. Could go 280. Wow. So scores are looking good over there, and both teams are very close and fighting for it. Yeah, they are handicap two. Yeah. We, we will go to handicap two for the last game mm -hmm. to give them their full shine. Yeah. And meanwhile, <laughs> Curtis is up here. He's the one that's putting the big numbers up here on handicap one. He had an errant six count in the second frame, but other than that, he's still on a 280 max. So yeah, calling his shot. He did call his shot. He famously said, "I'm going back 10 when there's nine frames to go." <laughs> and he is still living up to his word. That's right. He said what you know he what? said. The, you, you know, pe people don't like it when you um, try to be a little arrogant and call your shot, but if you back it up, they can't say anything about that. No, he said, and I quote. I am going to go back 10, <laughs> nine frames to go. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Curtis said, it, it's backwards to you, but it's all right to me. It's all about perspective. <laughs> he got a UBA over his heart, all right. and he got a lot of heart. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi up on lane 10. That's like the Roto Grip duo. Yeah, yeah. The, but the, only a solo pin left. Only a, I, I like that. Yeah, I'm working on it. I hear you. And you know what? And this ball seems to be laboring, getting up the lane. Yeah. There's a big hitter. It looks like he made a ball change. He went to something red. And I, that ball was a lot better. Yes. That ball was a lot better. Yes, definitely. Uh, he wanted to go with something that, like I, I always like to say, gives you permission to hit it with everything. You want to go with something calm, yeah. controllable, so you can control the outcome. Yeah. And eventually, hopefully, it'll be a, an undisputed result. All right. We can report Scratch is up to the 10th. Scratch on the 10th frame. And trying to see what the score looks like over there. Oh, it is SK by a lot over mm. on Scratch game two. So SK going to take a two game to none lead on the Scratch Bear. But it's looking like Bounty's going to take a two game to none lead on Handicap one. Let's go, Miss B. that going little Jersey action. Oh. But leaves a three pin. Anthony Reynolds stepping up on the left lane, lane nine. Missed the 10 pins, left back to back. 
single pins, trying to get back on the strike train, and gets the strike. Yeah, right there, back on track. And Burnett this, stepping up to make this three pin over mm -hmm. on 10. Yep. Leaving a portion of the pocket. And all over the three pin. Knocking it out the box and filling the frame with a slash rather than a dash. The anchor stepping up in the eighth frame. Gilmore stepping up, trying to get something held on and trips the four pin Ooh, to get grade. a double. But Hetmeyer is still on a 280 pace. Let's see if he can continue. He had a one errant shot. And seven pin does not fall. Oh. So a little short in prediction. That's still pretty impressive to get, you know, say, yes. oh, I'm going cheap and throwing five in a row just like that. Yep. And that's how I wasn't bad. That, not bad at all. Finish a little bit behind and the head. And Bounty's still up by a good amount here. And spare me for Curtis Hetmeyer. Jersey may be on backwards, but he's not looking back. He's only looking forward. <laughs> he says the seventh pin is unacceptable. But what is acceptable for his team is being up by about 98 pins right now. Maybe 92. I can't do math right now. Yeah, 90. Eh, some of that. Four, 545 to 463, you guys figure it out. Big nice hitter. Oh. Ooh, big hitter. A little whiff on the 10, though. Yeah, that's got to be hitting his heart really hard. He, he made a good ball change. He's begging for a double yes. right now, at least. Uh, right, I mean, yeah, he hasn't missed. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, sorry, no, no. He did have two in a row, so he didn't. He had three strikes straight on the right lane until he missed. Oh, trips out to Alexi. The eight, ten. With a strike. Trying to keep it close, but I mean, it's it's a lot right now. It's yeah. 250 pins, 240 pins difference in the wood already on that second uh, pair. So they got to make something happen come game three. All over the 10 pin, no problem. Miss B up. Going into her foundation frame. Frame yeah, number nine. She struck on this lane last time, so let's see if she can do it again. Gets it up, gets down, and gets it down for us. Very good. So we have two bowlers for SK that struck in their foundation frame, looking to maybe set up their tenth frame and finish strong. Yeah, so Mr. Reynolds here would love a double to really cement this lead even more so. Indeed. Meanwhile, Hanny, the scratch pair is done with game two, and SK has won that one as well. Oh, Mr. So Tim pins up. And again, oh, with, again, easy pass is activated as hey. we cross the bridge to Jersey. Looking like Jamal Crawford with a little crossover right there. <laughs> Jamal Crawford, man, how old are you? Hey, hey, listen. Isn't it Jalen Brunson era now? <laughs> Hey, you know, it may, it may be his error right now. Shout out to the Knicks. But you know what? Jay Crossover could take over that suit, take off the suit, and probably still cross over half the league. And right, speaking of um, a lead, who has the lead right now between, on handicap pair number, number one. one? Yeah, Bounty Hunters definitely with a big lead here as they're up 585 to 527. And Curtis hasn't even bowled his last frame, his ninth frame yet, mm. as Gilmore gets his spare.
Curtis says he has a story to finish in game two. Let's see if he can finish it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he said it was unacceptable. He says last one was unacceptable. Uh, his last one was unacceptable. What was that one? Mm. As he leaves himself the 4 7. I mean, it's still looking good for Rowney, but you never know. As he pitches out to McSpear and Ooh. sneaks it down. As one of the bowlers I bowl with in the Bronx, late great dollar bill said, You ain't got no ball, use the wall. <laughs> All right, we are standing up now, 10th frame. It is 603 for Bounty, 531 for SK. So a solid 72 pin lead. Mm. And two strikes in the spare versus two spares in the double means they're even in getting into the final frame as well. That means everybody's going strikes. It will be a 72 pin win. But then again, mm. I don't think we're going to see a every strike. We hope we do. <laughs> as Lexi steps up. And does flush a strike. Yeah, flexing. Flexing in the 10th frame. A double going in. Looking to go back four. Big hitter looking to four, match. Uh, yep. Okay, so we can go, big hitter can go 181 if he throws all three of his strikes here. A strike here would be big for big hitter as well as the bounty hunters on handicap one. But oh, two, four, five. Two, four, five. That's what we call the half a bucket. So what you have there is a situation where you switch and then you're trying to chase rather than roll. All right, if Alexa can strike here, you know, anything can happen. Yes. It's a little closer. Let's see what happens here. Throws, throwing that road group duo. And oh, oh cannot trick the 10 pin down. Uh, go potential 186 finish for for Alexi. Ale Alexis. Alexi Rivero. Let's see if Mr. Big Hitter gets this 245 down. Does so. Yes, Very he nice does. conversion. That, yes. was, that was big. Yeah, Not see? having an open frame there. Yep. When you have a 72 pin lead, you don't want to open frame. That's you don't, right. don't want to let your opponents back in. So. And you already know what a 245 is a thin line between Miss and Mink. Oh, yeah. Uh, trust me, I know. I. That, that spare and then the one with the eight pin. Those two spares. <laughs> don't, don't get me started on those. Mm. What about 10 pin conversions? Because that's what Lex has to do. Yeah, I don't. That, that's not as bad for me. <laughs> but let's see if it's. I will tell you, the percentage is way higher on 10 pins than it is for a 245. Well, let's see what it looks like over here. But it is a nice conversion as we do finish off. You're right. A 186 game for uh, Alexis. That's right. And potential 168 finish for um, for big hitter Adam Wright. Yeah, burning that on a strike can go out for 184. Mm -hmm. But Anthony can go out for a big 238. Mm. Very nice game if he can finish that off. Man. All right. Come on, baby nut. Adam Brent right there. You do know that's not son, right? No, that's not son. Oh. That's one of his sons. Oh, it's one of, one of Dwight Flowers' sons right there. That's one of the sons of Nut. <laughs> 167 finish. All right, for Adam Bright. stepping up. And looks like you need a little help on the cross, but leaves herself the 5 9. Uh, 59. Got to be careful not to be too high on the 5 pin. If it's a little too high, that could chop. So you definitely want to play it. But nice and safe. You want to play it with enough where you're focused on the nine pin with a little bend. All right. Anthony. Can you and big 10 pin. That should ice the game for Bounty Hunters. Mm, icing on the cake. Maybe. That is the icing on the cake. And I think he's, he wants one more. You get a nice little 230 game out of this. That does cover her spare. Mm -hmm. uh, she can strike here for a 164. We are. Oh, we know. Because <laughs> I'm camera shy. I don't like bowling on camera. No, you're not on camera right now. You're, you're, you're good. You're, we're, on, we're, on, we're, on the, we're on the middle pan right now. We're That's finishing right. off the 10th frame here. Bernadette Savory up, looking to ho hopefully close out with, with a strike, which will give her 164. 
Tony Reynolds looking to finish out for 238 potentially. Yep, and unfortunately, only a seven count here. She finished it all 161. 161. Mr. Reynolds flushes Ooh. it in that 10 pin. Taking a little sweet time to take a dive. Yeah, that's right. A little Shawn Michaels pose right there. Gets down the there. Timber. timber. All right, Kesha. <laughs> I wasn't going for that, but okay. <laughs> Gilmore wrapping things up in the 10 frame. Oh, seven yeah, pin. And he wasn't going for that seven pin no. to stand up. <laughs> he was going for it to lay down. It didn't lay down. Needs to buy it just maybe one more one more um, plate for dinner. Maybe another glass. Seven, seven pin had his uh, fought for its right to party. Yeah, th thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. He had a fight for your right to party. Civil rights corner pins. I was referring to Beastie Boys, not. <laughs> well, I, I, it's February. <laughs> and you know what? February could be March, April, May. Either way, he anyway, Tony, Tony Reynolds closed it out. Two thirty-eight. Tony Reynolds think he nice with a 238. He said every part of the lane is mine. <laughs> right side, left side, high side, low side. I want to remind him about that jersey strike he had because he told me to forget about it in 10 minutes. I didn't forget. <laughs> which one? Which one? <laughs> he said which one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. We got Photoshop. Curtis trying to finish and off his game here. Woo! Flushes it. All right, there. He can go out for a 247. Curtis showing amazing balance. He, he, you should see him do yoga. <laughs> oh, oh, you should see him do his gymnastics. Best split in the house. Gilmore strikes out potentially for two a 204. 204. Two, two two four. Four. Two I, I didn't see he already bowled already. And he does get a 204, turn the four right. out. But yeah, this is all about, this second game was all bounty all the time. As looks like it might win by 100 pins again. As Curtis steps up, trying to finish off a 247 game here. Slow rolls and flushes it. And you know how poetic it is that he's got bounty hunters on his back because yes. right now he's throwing them on his back. Yes, he's got one. Oh, he a little from, from uh, the B ball at 238. Is that? But definitely leading the squad this game two here on the second pair. And he steps up to finish. And the slow roll gets on there and goes right through the nose, but that's an oh. icon out of it. So we'll take a 246. 246. And it's a 102 pin win on handicap one for the bounty hunters. So what does that mean for the overall wood? Overall wood on this pair, they are up by 263 after two. On this pair? On this pair. Okay. On the scratch pair, SK is up by a little bit. And SK is not, SK looked like that on scratch pair that they want to, um, they want all of that back because they've done the front nine. Mm. Three front threes for Scratch SK yeah. to start off. But we will be going over to handicap number two as they are finishing up here. Um, they're finishing up game two, and it looks like SK will win this one. They're up 656 to 609 with their last bowlers going. What up? And. And. Oh, Sam, Sam Chow. With a Tripping the two pin. So what? So what did we say? What did we say the situation was here for right. handicap two? So we're handicap two. So Bounty won the first game, but SK won the second game. So they split, and SK is up in the wood by a little bit. Mm. So this will be very close. Another little minor story to talk about here is mm -hmm. our leadoff bowler for SK, Jeremy Sullivan. He went 300 game one. We saw that. Yes. Well, he went 243 game two. Mm. So he is plus 143 in the two. Ah. Which is a, that's a lot. That's a lot. So, so I, 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 ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say 800 watch or not, but it's something to watch out for. It, it could be one of them things. He could, he could do them, that thing. That thing right there. 
And that thing that Sam Chow did wasn't so good, leaving the, leaving the baby split right there, leaving you 310. Yeah. And Fiddy up. And Fiddy catching, uh, catching a little skitty over there. Yeah, 179. Sam Chow showing that backup ball that he showed before and converts his baby split right there. Hey, Sam, is it a boy or a girl? The baby split. <laughs> the twins. <laughs> we got twins. That, mean, that means he's made two of them today. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll be watching here. As Co Coco got to take a picture of it. Because Coco do what Coco do. That's right. No, like Coco in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> How, do you like Coco light and sweet? Because that's what her name says. <laughs> so, well, we are preparing to go into game three. Game three. For, that, that's when some people prefer. Yes. They call themselves the game three goat. Yes. It, I don't. I'm an oil guy. <laughs> you said, you, what did they say? Dry it up? I'm, I'm going to get one joke. <laughs> they dry it up? Oh. Yo, Joey, good stuff, though, man. Yo, Joey, shout out to Joey from 21, though. And, he, you know, he can still go 800. I mean, he struggled a little bit there. But he's got, he can go out for uh, 45? Yeah, mm. we're trying to do it. All right. So the story now for... For all pairs right, right now. So, so all pairs who, has right the, now. who has the advantage? So Bounty's up a lot, total wood, solely because of handicap one. So handicap one is is the main story here, but we're gonna look at handicap two as SK is trying to get all that wood back. Uh, they're up on scratch. They're up on the handicap two. Mm. So we'll see what happens. Game three will determine everything here. Shout out Tony Taylor. Shout Ooh. out Mark Hines. Shout out all these legends. And you know what? And that was legendary carry greatness. That's right. And that first frame was definitely great for Bounty Hunters as we start off with a strike there. First frame. So for a for handicap, handicap number two, we got, we, uh, we got Deidre Stewart, Dwayne Lewis, Malcolm Umbawe. Yes, and then for the SK, we got Jeremy Silman again, who has... Um, 540 versus two. Yes. Uh, David Jones and Sam Chow. Yes. And there's a, you know, two strike, you know, bounties in a situation where, you know, well, they, they was down a little bit after two, total wood. They want to try to make sure they try to get it all back. Yeah. To try to get, you know, get a little eight number in this column here. Indeed. If they win. Down, but. Not out. Indeed. I mean, yes, they have the cushion of being up a lot because of handicap one, but, you know, Every different pair has their own wood to worry about as well. So, so we definitely saw we saw Deja start strike. Yes. Wayne Lewis started strike. Now Jeremy's going to step up for SK. Smooth again. He's been with SK since its entire lifetime. That's right. Not many people can say that. Hermie can say that. He can say that. They've been there forever. They are OGs. When we're talking about the OGs, and you, right. you know. It, it, it just be like that. It be like it'd that. It be like that. And then it be like that. Strike for the first frame. Strike for the first frame. For a man you said who has right now 543. 543. For two games. Well, now he's 553. We over here showing our arithmetic. So DJ David Jones. David Jones. Silent Jones. Up on. Frame one, lane 12, game three, Danny Strike Zone, Elmont, New York, Long Island, Strong Island. And it's a strong, it's Long Island, even though it's the Brooklyn Queens uh, division, Long Island division is tough too. That's why we call it Strong Island. Yes. And the, uh, the Brooklyn Queens division does go out to Long Island once in a while because unfortunately there's not a lot of houses left in uh, the Brooklyn Queens area. Mm. There's only like five. Mm. So. And, and unfortunately, that's a seven count for yeah. David Jones. Two, four, five. Two, four, five. And we see Fitty going up for Bounty. To start is, off. Is Fitty going to the bar? One. Yes, he is. No, he's not going to the bar. Oh, he's not going to the bar. He's not going to the bar. 
I thought he meant to go on the strike. I, you were making a beer frame reference. I see what you're doing now. Yo, Malcolm. Yo, Malcolm. You're not going so far. You didn't get stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if um, we're not stuck with an open here. And up. Uh, oh, oh, does not get the five. Yeah, leaving the five. An unfortunate start for David Jones here as he opens the start. But if you have to open, the first frame's the frame to do yes. it. Yes. You can still recover and get a 279 game out of that. If you open the middle, best you do is like a 260. There you go. Math. Math. See, because, you know, I got a 33. Third chance. Oh, no. <laughs> Not that kind of myth. All right, Sam Chow getting the ball out there and oh, tripping Sam, that 10 pin. Sam Chow tripping out the 7 and the 10. Go, going on a double date. Well, more, more like a three-way date. He oh, said, I'm going to take you and your friend out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did not leave the legs open on that on that. Oh hit. my god. You know, some view, some viewers say if you watch a couple of my videos back to back, you hear the same thing. Well, so what? <laughs> <laughs> that means you watch and you're all watching here. You'll be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us. And let's see if we're here watching a double. And, ooh, and no. Whoa. And good shot. Unfortunately the tent does not fall. For Miss Deidre. Mm -hmm. And Deidre, Deidre Stewart up, looking to convert her 10 pin. Looking to give some, some help to her teammates here on, on Bounty Hunters. As Kenny Lickham said, one of the original teams. No, no, not one of the original teams. The original team. Mm. But huh? they don't mean this time mm. Well, unfortunately, 10 pin miss for Deidre Stewart. Hopefully her spirits stay up. And yep. she looks for fit. And hopefully Mr. she's Silvin good at on the left. Waiting for his turn to go. And Jeremy flushes a strike to get second frame. So 563? <laughs> We're joining again by Coco. Baby Your baby daddy. Come on, baby daddy! Oh, he's oh gonna, speaking of baby. Speaking of babies. He's gonna make it. <laughs> gonna make, what, it's what? gonna be Mookie Jr. Well, you oh, know what? Lord. Hey, well, I see your confidence in his baby making ability. <laughs> How y'all been? I've been good. How you hey, been? I'm wonderful. I haven't seen you guys in a minute. Oh, I've seen you. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see if we see a baby split conversion. And uh, oh, hard way. Oh, hard way. Oh. Try to tap it yeah, from the back. Awesome. All right, I'll be back. All right. <laughs> did not, uh, did not make that baby. Um, no, no baby so split. So Coco might be a little disappointed, but you already know there's always ways to try again. You know yes. What I mean? <laughs> and I see he'll try again in the third frame to not leave that and try to take everything out. So that's an open frame right there. And let's see if um, let's see if the silent one himself can make up for the very first frame. And as Kenny Lickham um, alluded to, first frame opens aren't always the worst thing. Yes, especially if you recover. And that's a recovery. That is exactly. All right, we fine. We fine. We good again. That's right. Clear. <laughs> it's cold outside. Why you got no clothes? Fitty up. Fitty. Umbawi. Malcolm up. Gets it up the lane. And ooh, ooh, little finishes a ten. little high. Leaving the 3 6 10. We would like to convert this bear. Let's see Sam Chow up on the left. Lane 11. Gets it out. But will it come back? Oh. Ooh. No, it does not. Double wood. Double wood. Two, it's 2 8 again. Mm. Both makeable yet missable spares. Both very choppable. Malcolm gets it up and covers nice, that. Nice conversion. Three six ten is always a little tricky, but he made it look easy. All right, now Sam, now Sam Chow's turn. Yep, two, two eight. You know, as long as you hook at it, you're good to go. That's right. Hook at it. Don't look at it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> the 
and try not to leave it again next frame. And oh no, he hooked it too much. Yeah. yeah. And unfortunately, tops two yeah. off the eight. Took a little sharp turn. Yeah. Looks like he's drawing the uh, the UC3 Rubicon. Yes. Deidre on the left. Mm -hmm. Strike first looks for Deidre. Looks like her Deidre. name is Killer Spare. Her hair is blocking some of it, but it looks like Killer Spare stepping up and trying to get back on. Oh no, five mm. count. Well, five count on an open, so not really losing anything. We didn't lose too much as long as we make it. But it's fair, you know. We were talking about the two four five, the two four five regular. This is a similar vein mm -hmm. as all those. Bucket with a with a side. Bucket with a side of fries. That's right. As Jeremy looks to continue his striking ways, and front three, this guy, he's on fire today. 573. <laughs> That's a lot. No, it says 603 now. Oh, he's got 16. 60 already. He's got yes. 543 plus 60, 603. And you're right. And when you're right, you're right. When I'm right, I'm right. I'm not right too often. When I am, I am. Yeah, because usually saw we start left. <laughs> And that, that spare was not left for Deidre Stewart. As, yeah, that's a big spare for Deidre. She needed that. After the open in the second frame, getting a spare in the third, and was not hard by the five count. Mm -hmm. See Mookie, not Mookie Betts. It was Mookie <laughs> on the left. Apparently Coco's baby daddy. But oh. fortunately a little high. A little leaving high. a four pin. That's right. Now, Mr. Jones, the silent one on the right. Oh. DJ, can you play a love song? On the song? right, and but no. left, and he leaves the baby store this time. Oh, yeah, that little promiscuous lane. Yes, we've seen, we've seen two babies on the same lane. Uh-oh. Let's see if the baby gets made this time. Mookie with the four pin. Shouldn't be an issue, and it's not. A little tougher with the 310 here. For the silent one as he gets it out. And the hard, hard way. Hard way again. Oh, oh, but hard way works this time. Bet your hard ways, seven to one. See, Mookie tried to tap it from the back, but he went a little too strong. That's oh, was just right. That was a hard eight, nine to one. <laughs> and one. <laughs> Yeah, Sam Chow has to be saying, wow, that ball is taking a while to come back. Um, adjustment for Sam Chow would be what? Uh, uh, ball change, probably? Yes. That's the first I see. That ball is not looking exactly the way you want it to. So I would say go to something resin, mm -hmm. a little more aggressive. Uh -huh. But also, I wouldn't go ace him. I'd probably go symmetrical aggressive. Mm -hmm. Like if you have like an NV tour or if you have um, like an absolute power or something mm -hmm. like that. Well, let's see if this is an absolute cover. And it is. Right lane against Andrew, a five count. Last frame, last time on the right, she have a nine count. And this time, this is the head pin to the right, mm. and it's a seven count, the one, two, ten. Yeah, may, may need to move her feet right. The, the one good thing about her release, very kind release at that. Yes. Um, no chance of it truly flipping. So she has she has permission to move right and not and not have it bite her. Yeah. And, and I think that's what Curtis is also, giving her yeah, advice. Also, maybe, maybe a little more direct, like not getting it out. Be exactly. Straight. You know, the, the, you know, it's the quickest point. The quickest I wish point. I could draw it straight. I can't do that anymore. If I draw, if I draw it straight, I hit the four pin every time. <laughs> and you know what they say? Fastest way to get from point A to B is what? 
Straight line. Straight line. So she has a direct line as long as she lines right. her shoulders up. Well, so and it's a little right bit there, hook here, but unfortunately, no. But see, that was a good miss because that's an indicator for her next first ball. Yeah. Play a little more right at that mm -hmm. ball. Come on, a little bit. Exactly. Meanwhile, speaking of, this is not a straight line. This is Jeremy Sullivan up, looking for front four. And oh, Sullivan does light. not go down. Yeah, it comes in a, lot, a little light. Uh, does not get the pins to fight the way he would, want, would like to. But let's just say he's he's having a good day. <laughs> he's off to a good start to the say for sure. Yes. Here's Mookie as goes a little high again on the right lane. Yeah, a lot of wrist action Leaving at the bottom of the ball. Three, six, ten. Yeah. So, the Wayne Lewis looking to cover. All right, Jeremy seven up, trying to hook at the seven pin, and gets it. All over that seven pin. Jeremy Silman, day one member of SK. Yes. Mookie steps up. And oh no. Ooh, Chopsies. Chopsies. Chopsy three, all for three, six, ten. David Jones up. David Jones on lane 11. A little high. Very high. Gets a, that's a merciful carry. Yes. Right we'll, there. We'll take the, leaving just the four pin there. Almost leaving the big four, but leaves the four pin. Yes. And it's still shaking. Maybe because it's scared. Perhaps. Let's see, Malcolm Umbawe moves a little inside. Oh, nice oh, shot. He moved with the oil yes. rather than away from it. And that was a great adjustment. Yeah, I, I would say definitely keeping a new oil and not getting it way too far out. Yeah. Let's see if Mr. Jones can get this four pin down and does so. Very good. Direct hit to the four pin. <laughs> yeah, jo Joey, Joey letting us know that um, that, uh, it, it, that, that <laughs> it's pretty much over with. He's saying it's over with for Hank Hurst. Let's see if it's over yeah. for Sam Chow. Sam Chow. And it's not over for Sam Chow because he has a chance to make his spare uh, leaving the 6'10". The 6'10". Six six ten. Ten. May want to um, look at that ball change that Kenny Latham um, mentioned it before. Yeah. That may be the right the right choice, the right option. Back up abilities being displayed. And my research is looking at it. I, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> well, I don't use the stomp, so it's fine. It's easier that way. My two hand backup is, is, is not too yeah. bad, though. And you know what? Your si Simonson style? Yeah, maybe. Maybe a little, little Simo. And let's see if Simon says more strikes <laughs> for, for, for Jeremy Silman. Yes. But I think DJ's going to get up first on the left lane. DJ. DJ Stewart up. We saw Curtis um, giving some advice to Deidre. Let's see, let's see what it means right, right now. She's going to go left. It's going left. Way okay. left. She gave it a little help there. Yeah. You know. Jersey, that was like Delaware. <laughs> yeah, definitely gave it a little assistance. Yeah. Let's see if she can um, keep her composure, focus on her, her spare. One, three, six, eight for Deidre. Yes. And the head pin looks a little offset. Not really, I don't think so. Jeremy up. And he's to hold and flushes it. Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy so will good. be winning bowler of the night, it looks like. So good at moving <laughs> with the oil right there. Yes. One thing about a UBA OG, you're not really going to rattle him like that. No. Let's just say he's, he's been here before. All. He's he seen it all. <laughs> he's been here before. He knows these roads. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, DJ Seven trying to convert this 
tricky spare to one three six eight. Looks like a different ball there and covers it. Very, Very nice. good. Great spare. Big spare. Quick look over at the scratch pair from here. The uh, scratch pair is looking like SK is going to sweep. SK is going to sweep the scratch pair, it looks like. And they're going to win the wood by about a. They're up like 150. Yeah, they're up like 150, 160 ish. I don't know if that's enough to make up for what they're down on handicap two. But they're also up a little bit right now here on. Oh, well, maybe not. Not after that. It's still very close here on handicap two for game three. All right. Fiddy is up on the left for Bounty Hunters. Steps way up on the line. Gets it out. Looks like when balled it down again. Oh! And comes in high, but mixes everything. Mm -hmm. Leaves a 10 pin. As Mr. Jones has a three pin and takes care of it, no problem. No problem. All over that. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Fitty. Just well, a bit then outside. Didn't you go for, didn't you go for the feet? Mm -mm. Didn't have a chance to. Nope. Let's see if uh, Chow can take advantage of that. Sticking Ooh. with the Rubicon and trips the four pin. And, and move, it moves a little, a, little, a little right, gets a little, a little more direct. Bit, yeah, trying try to get more in the dry. Which I think you want with that ball. Yep. He may have been um, doing some architectural work with that, with that, with that UC3. <laughs> right. Maybe a little urethane pain. Yeah. I think the UC3 is the original, not urethane. We have Deidre Stewart up on lane 12. She likes it on her hand. And hooks and leaves herself the 2-5. That was a good shot, though. That was, um, at least now we got got a, got a GPS back on the pocket. And that's exactly, no, that's exactly where <laughs> yeah, you want to be. Get the head pin. Just got to get the, little, the entry angle in a little sharper. Yeah. Yeah, we see strikes a lot, especially when it comes to some handicapped pairs and some scratch pairs. Uh, but the spares is what's very, very big, especially on the handicapped pairs. Yes. You know, the scratch pair may be, may be the vehicle, but a lot of times the, the gas for the engine and, and the oil for the engine is the, the handicapped pair. Yes, and there is the uh, nice little spare there for Deidre. Indeed. Big spare. Hey, little spare. Yep. Big spare. Three spares out of four in a row. Back to back. Jeremy is up now. Again, he is on a fire today. Mm -hmm. This game, three strikes, seven pin strike. Oh, and he boy pitches it out and gets it back, <laughs> and the 10 pin drops. No problem. Well, Mookie gets out a little too, way too far, but oh, it comes all the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Baby, come back. <laughs> Even though we can't see it on camera, but we got, we got a situation. On, oh, on, on lane I number 10, I don't, I don't want to see which is a five pin. We can't see it, but it's there. Oh, it's, the pin is like John Cena. I can't see it. Well, hopefully he can see it because if yeah. he doesn't, if he, he doesn't hit it. The, the, the white stuff I come out, and I'm not talking about. Hey, the, yo. Not, <laughs> hey, and, yo. And I'm not talking about the Eric Cotton song either. <laughs> We're talking we talk about that Johnson and Johnson, <laughs> that, that J and J. Well, I'm Team Pfizer. <laughs> And let's just see right, right now. Mr. Take a shot here. And, uh, oh. oh. Another week 10. And for those wondering, five pin was converted. And let's see yes. if the 10 pin can be converted right here for David Jones. And let's see if uh, Malcolm Umbawe can make up for that for that open frame from before. And way left. Way, way left. And leaving the three, nine, double wood. That's right. They 
and oh, all over Jones, the ten pin. Ten pin, easy spare. No problems here. Three nine. Makeable yet missable. Want to get slightly right of it. Definitely want to hook around it. That's got to get there, and, and that does all over. Yep. All right. So scratch pair. Sk swept. They got okay. all ten points, okay. and they ended up winning by about 178. If mm -hmm. that's correct, that's okay. a lot. That is a lot. But Bounty is still up by over 300 on handicap two. Handicap one. So it's still looking like it's going to be a Bounty win. Oh, but SK can take some points here yes. and keep it close here on handicap two. Very good, very good. And it looks like Sam, Sam Child understands that assignment as yeah. he doubles fifth and sixth. Got Deidre Stewart up on yeah, right, rain 11. Right, yeah, right now we are looking at this game. SK is up a little bit. They're up 379, 364. We have a two doubles also for SK, which is big. Mm -hmm. And on the total wood, they're up by 28. So very close on all fronts here on Handicap 2. Mm -hmm. So good thing we're finishing here. The other two were blowouts. So we're that's finishing on. Go. That looks good. And oh. that's flush strike. There you go, right there. And Deidre right now putting some more gas in the tank. Yes. Put a little more pressure on Jeremy here. We got way up. Ooh, that ball looked like had GPS on it. Yeah, for real. A little joystick controller action right there. Yeah. Smooth, almost had a little bit of a yeah. smooth fall. It looks like a smooth <laughs> criminal, if you know what I mean. If her, indeed. <laughs> well, well, the pin's going to get hit by. But, Annie, are you okay? <laughs> Well, he certainly was a smooth criminal today. Yeah. Criminal yeah, and this guy has been a criminal on the lanes because uh -huh. he is on fire still. I feel like I want, I want to call the pins Annie. Yeah, exactly. I, I Annie, want to ask, are you okay? Yeah, I want to ask him if they're okay. They, they are not okay when Smooth's done with them. No, they're not. Because he's knocked down a lot of them today. That's right. Already at 672 and can be in the 700s already in the strike here. Huh. And, you know, flirting with that other number that we like to mm, that, that, talk that, about. That number. That number that looks like a figure something. It, and, uh, yeah, about that. So smooth. So smooth. That's right. That guy good. He good. Killing them softly. Silently. Yeah, yes, indeed. The silent killers. Yes. And this hill is on time. And they, they need as much as they can get here. As we already know. What happened yeah. over on what's happening over at Handicap One, where Bounty is taking them to school. Mm -hmm. So again, S SK one scratch, all ten points. Bounty looking like they're gonna he win needs all, 10 all ten points. Pins. He needs all ten pins. And yeah, this game here is looking really good. Yes, very close. SK up a little bit, <coughs> but this is where it'll be make make or break for both teams here. Mr. Fitty. Gets it out. Will it come back? Yes, it will. Yes, it does. Mr. Chow, so, freezing point. Will his ball play? Oh, oh, now we are seeing some striking here. Yeah, yeah indeed. I think, I think we saw a little architecture before with that UC3. Yes. I am telling you. We are seeing something work here. Yeah, Curtis um, sounded like a member of the A team. He loved when a plan <laughs> come together. And <laughs> yeah, let's see if this frame can come together. Let's see if this could be a double right here for Deidre. Got it out. Coming back, trips out the eight pin, but leaves two four five. Okay, not 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 necessarily a bad shot. But Get out of here. Get over. 
Deidre looking to convert her 2 4 5. See if she can get the ball up the lane. Right there, that looks like looks it's going to hit from the other side. And nice. yes. There. All right, Mr. Marksman of the day, Jeremy Sullivan, mm -hmm. stepping up, eight frame, trying to keep his hot streak going. He got oh. it in a little bit. He's the hold, and it oh, does. Oh, that's right. There's oil. Hands. There's still it's game three, but there's still oil in the middle. Praying right? hands. <laughs> there's still oil out there. Saying prayers, taking vitamins. Mookie up. Four. Four. Oh, man. So, oh. And you know, Coco, every single time she, she, she mentions that that's the baby daddy, Some, somehow. Some way. It's a split. <laughs> spare me, spare me. Uh, oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh. oh. Give him a run for it. That was a great album. <laughs> Mr. Jones up <laughs> on lane 11. Comes back. Seven pin. No. Oh. Stays up. Now he made a ball change. Did David Jones. Um, both similar reactions. Yeah. Now it just may be a, a matter of angles. Angles. Maybe Let's feet. Head right. Let's head right with your feet. <laughs> Fitty trying to get a double here and does so. It's Fitty. It's Fitty. Whoa! Oh. Drive up. Oh, man. Everyone's on camera. Well, must be gang, it's gang affiliated. That was a drive by. Yeah. Played that a little, a little too, uh, right. a little too close. Trying to pick his team up. I mean, he's got three in a row now, so whatever he's doing is working now. Let's see if he can keep it up. Whoa! Well, I don't think you want to do that. Mm -mm. But only a nine pin. Only a nine pin. So, you know, not, not too much trouble. Sam Chow looking to convert his nine pin. Should have no problem converting that. Rose back up. Back up and makes it. Ma ma making life easier for herself. Speaking of easy, the game is coming really easy to Jeremy Solman. Yes. 300, game one, 243, game two. And looking like he might go 279, game three, which would it's be... Uh, like, it's looking like that. He, I mean, I didn't say it. We, we, maybe. But maybe. Maybe. We might have to watch. I'll figure something. What? Figure something. Well, let's watch and see. Let's see. And he needs a strike. Gets it up, Ed. And launches it. There you go. All right. He just needs, I think he just needs one more. So, so, you know what? So, now... Now it's on Twan Williams. See, see Twan said 800 watts. Yes. And that's why I'll be watching. That's a watch. That's a watch. Yeah, we, shall, we shall watch and see. Yeah. <laughs> shout, <laughs> yeah. shout out to Twan Williams out here repping the crew. He is Tito SK. Crew. Mm. And Deidre. Deidre. Ooh, oh, seven pins does not go. Seven pin not being kind to Deidre, but that is still a very good shot. Making making her situations easy yeah. and makeable. That's exactly what you want. But you we want need a makeable lot of help here for Bounty here. Right now, it's looking like SK will be taking this one as well. And if that holds up, mm -hmm. we're going to have one of those really weird score numbers. 22-18. 22-18. <laughs> well, it is a race to 21. Yeah, tw 21's a winner, but I mean... Both these teams want to try to climb the standings. You basically tie each other. You ain't, you ain't, getting, you ain't getting nowhere. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, 20, you know, 20, anything 21 up is a winner, and the it other is. one is buying dinner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I say for sure, that definitely looks like a bounty is going to have the, at least 20. <laughs> Mr. Jones on the left. Okay. 
And I like that angle change. Pitched it inside, yeah. kept it in the oil, and and, 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 and he told and he told the pins are number one. Yeah, number exactly. One. You know, you know, he's all the pins are number one. Gave a little one finger salute. <laughs> you know, we, bird, we call that a bird watch. <laughs> And let's see if we can watch this. Hey. I was going to say, yeah, Lex Luger over here. Stokosy Boston over here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Luki with the strike here. Mr. Chow stepping up here, trying to get this Chow ball to come back. Chow shows you how. Oh, no. To right. not leave a split. Out of trouble. I didn't finish the ball. I did not finish the ball. Yo, Shaka, I'm over here spitting. <laughs> speaking of <laughs> speaking of spitting and bars, we got Fiddy up. It's Fiddy. And Fiddy looking to get 10. And Fiddy and is, is not going to the candy shop. Oh no, he's not. No. <laughs> and oh three, no, six, that's ten. gonna go. That's gonna hook too much. Oh no. Six and ten out. Hey, that's not what you want. Not what you want. When the game is, you know, it's, you're, you're up, but it's not out. Mm, that's right. Well, he blinked. Let's see if um, Fiddy right now can keep his eyes wide open. Yep. Let's see if he gets it out there. Looking good. Nice cover. Yes, yes. All over that covers right. it. No but problem. But now the, st the story is this one shot. What's the story? Jeremy Silman. Huh? One shot. I ain't going to say what happens if he throws this one shot, but he needs it. Well, let's just say he's trying to do what with the story? He's trying to finish the story. Trying to finish the story. He's trying to finish the story, and he needs this one shot. He needs one shot. Oh, oh, the watch. Oh, what, the watch? The watch. Uh, I got watch. Yeah. <laughs> TNBA 299, what up? <laughs> that, that watch. Oh, wrong watch, no. <laughs> but Deidre's up first. Deidre gets it out there, comes back, and gets a nine count oh, on good. a spin. That's not too bad. Y'all still won. What's going on, dude? Uh, right here, Coco over here watching with me. Watch and, we, and what are we about to watch right now? We are about to watch potentially. Potentially an honor score, number two being drawn here. Yes. Mr. Jeremy Sullivan. Yes. <laughs> you, you said forget him? We're going to do, we're go, yeah, we're going to do the, the Seal of Green Sunset version? <laughs> no, it's like, the, you know, when you edit curses on, on USA movies? <laughs> forget him. All right, him. here we go. Jeremy, Jeremy he needs a shot. Well, he needs let's a shot. see what happens right here. And... Gets it on the lane. He's got a hook. No. Damn, that sucked. That was not what he wanted. Well, All right, I'm going to go because i got to go sit down. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, a six count. Love you. Hi, Mom. See you later. Let's go, Kurt. Well, unfortunately, we will not get um, a double on a score, but he no does have score. 300. Yep, he got 300 today. As we mean, the 780s, 790s, maybe. Mm -hmm. I would certainly say uh, high for the day. Yes. He was definitely high for today in this house. Spare made? Nope. Uh, already frustrated, yeah. but still 784 series. 784 series. 300, 300, 243, 241. Yeah. All right, Mookie, right there with the strike in the ten frame. Hey man, yo Jeremy, great shooting man. So, I believe 784. 784. Good run. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the game of hand here, where right now the wood is still very close here. It's not over yet. If Mookie strikes here, you never know. You never, never know. Hey, Ooh, that's two in a row. Mookie on a, said on a you bet. Yeah. <laughs> now, Mr. Jones needs a strike here to maintain the lead. This game is very close. That's got a hook. It's got a hook. And it oh. does. Mixes it up and gets it to fall. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they all fell. <laughs> he just making check. sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this game's very close here. The game is within 
Well, it all depends on what Silent One does. Right. Yeah. Oh, and and almost carried that. Eight pin, 192. We had a 168 for D. Jeremy. We had a 241 for Jeremy here. Doubles good, doubles big, and, and double no doesn't double. Leaves himself the two ten baby, the two seven baby split. Sorry. We can spare this out for a one eighty two here as Mr. Fitty, Mr. Malcolm here. Strike here, you never know. Because you got sure. open on Sam's side, but oh no, oh, oh no, Joshua, Ay Karama, not the eight ten. Joshua Malik. Nice spare conversion. And now I can officially say that I think we are done here. Mm. So once, because I don't think we're going to see an 8 10 here. Unless the 8 10 is converted and Sam draws two, two gutters. Mm. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. But there you go. Oh, oh almost. All right, well. Yeah, well, you know, the 8, the eight poked his head out. Sam's going to finish you know. it off here. And there's a strike. There we so go. we can say. The score is over and it will be Bounty Hunters 22, Silent Killers 18. Mm. That, that's what we call a tough match. Yes. Uh, 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 anybody can take it if they want it. Yeah. SK sweeping the scratch. Bounty Hunters sweeping Handicap 1. Yeah. And SK taking two out of three and the wood here on mm -hmm. Handicap 2. Mm.